Sai Sippers, assemble now! Today we celebrate the 10th binge watch with another binge watch of six videos for an hour-long bonanza of soothing science in Sips on the Sai Sips channel. Forget the usual science documentaries, this is Sai Sips on steroids, a deep dive into the frontiers of science that will make you question everything you thought you knew. Imagine a world where electricity flows with zero resistance, revolutionizing everything from power grids to transportation. That's the tantalizing promise of superconductivity at room temperature. But there's a catch. It usually happens at incredibly cold temperatures. Buckle up as we explore the latest research, delve into the fascinating world of quantum mechanics, and uncover the ongoing quest to unlock this game-changing technology that could reshape the future. Ever wondered how life on Earth began? One clue might lie in a simple molecule called pantothene. This seemingly ordinary molecule plays a crucial role in the building blocks of life, but its exact role in the origin of life story remains a captivating mystery. We'll delve into the primordial soup of early Earth, explore the properties of pantothene, and discuss the ongoing research that could unlock the secrets of how life arose from non-living matter. Move over, holograms. We're entering the realm of meta-surfaces, engineered surfaces, that can manipulate light in mind-boggling ways. Imagine creating realistic 3D projections without bulky headsets, or even bending light around objects like cloaking devices from science fiction. We'll explore the science behind meta-surfaces, showcase the latest technological advancements, and discuss the exciting possibilities these futuristic materials hold for the future of communication, optics, and even invisibility. Picture a giant beast with a massive skull resembling a lion and a body resembling a gigantic lizard. Meet the Dinocephalosaurus orientalis, an extinct creature that continues to baffle paleontologists. We'll delve into its unique anatomy, explore theories about its diet and behavior, and uncover the ongoing research that sheds light on this fascinating prehistoric puzzle. Ever wondered why water droplets dance on a hot pan? It's all thanks to the Leidenfrost effect, a fascinating phenomenon involving the interplay of heat, vaporization, and surface tension. We'll conduct safe, don't try this at home experiments to demonstrate this effect, explore the scientific principles at play, and uncover its practical applications, from self-cleaning surfaces to designing safer cookware. The Science of Persuasion Unmasking the Science of Influence Have you ever been subtly persuaded to buy something or change your mind? The answer is probably yes. We'll delve into the fascinating field of persuasion science, exploring the psychological tricks and techniques marketers and advertisers use to influence our behavior. Learn how to recognize these tactics, understand the science behind persuasion, and gain the tools to make your own informed decisions. Hit that play button, grab your favorite snacks, and maybe a notebook for all the mind-blowing facts, and let the science adventure begin. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more SciSips shenanigans. Remember, knowledge is power, and with this binge watch, you'll become a certified science nerd. So let's explore. All right, Psy Sippers, before you go hurtling back into the real world after this epic scientific odyssey, I want to take a quick moment to chat. Building this channel, bringing you these videos, and exploring the wonders of science with all of you is a blast. But to keep the scientific adventure going strong, your help is essential. Liking this video lets YouTube know you enjoyed it, which helps the algorithm share it with more curious minds like yours. Subscribing to the channel ensures you never miss a future science bonanza and lets you know when we upload new content. But the real magic happens in the comments. Leaving a comment, whether it's a question you have, a mind-blown reaction, or even a suggestion for a future topic, is like rocket fuel for the channel. It helps us understand what excites you and allows us to create even better videos that cater to your scientific interests. So, smash that like button, subscribe for more, and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought of this wild ride through science. Thanks for joining the SciSips fam, and until next time, stay curious. Hey, SciSippers! 
Have you ever dreamed of a world where your phone never dies, your house is cool in the summer without wasting energy, and trains fly on magical carpets of levitation? Well, buckle up, because today we're diving into the holy grail of physics room temperature superconductivity. This isn't some science fiction fantasy. We're talking about materials that could revolutionize our entire world, and guess what? Scientists are hot on its trail. But wait, there's a catch. Achieving this mind-blowing feat isn't easy. We'll crack open the science, navigate the challenges, and explore the mind-boggling applications that could change the game forever. So, grab your curiosity and get ready to be blown away because in the world of science, anything is possible. Stick around because in this video, we're sipping on the future of science. Let's see if we can decipher the code and unlock the secrets of room temperature superconductivity together. Dare we ponder in this vast universe of scientific discovery? Where does the elusive realm of room temperature superconductivity fit in? Superconductivity, a phenomenon where materials exhibit zero electrical resistance, is a riddle wrapped in a mystery. At the heart of this enigma, we find Cooper pairs, electron couples that dance harmoniously, enabling the seamless flow of electricity. The Meissner effect, another key player, expels magnetic fields, allowing superconductors to levitate. Peer deeper into this realm, and we encounter the quantum world. The Bose-Einstein condensate, a state of matter where atoms act as a single entity, and quantum entanglement, the inexplicable linking of particles, play integral roles in this symphony of superconductivity. The history of superconductivity research is a thrilling journey, beginning with the pioneering work of Heike Kamerling Ons and continuing with today's brilliant minds, striving to unravel the superconductive secrets. Thus, superconductivity, in all its enigmatic glory, continues to challenge and captivate the scientific community. But the real conundrum, the holy grail of condensed matter physics, lies in achieving superconductivity at room temperature. What are the barriers that stand in our way? The answers to this question are as complex as the phenomenon itself. The primary challenge is the high pressure requirement. Most high temperature superconductors need to be under intense pressure, often millions of times greater than atmospheric pressure to exhibit superconductivity. The materials we use are another hurdle. They are often brittle, making them unsuitable for practical applications. Synthesizing and stabilizing these materials, particularly those that can exhibit high temperature superconductivity, is another monumental task. Yet glimmers of hope shine through. Recent discoveries like superconductivity in hydrogen-rich materials under high pressure offer promising leads. These breakthroughs, while exciting, necessitate further research and verification. Despite these hurdles, the relentless pursuit of room temperature superconductivity persists, fueled by the tantalizing promise it holds. Here are five interesting facts about superconductivity. Superfluid connection. While superconductivity is the lossless flow of electrical current, it's often accompanied by a related phenomenon called superfluidity. This means certain fluids exhibit zero viscosity, resistance to flow, at their transition temperatures, allowing them to flow freely with no friction. Imagine spilling a cup of coffee and seeing it defying gravity and creeping up the sides of the container. Diamagnetism. Superconductors exhibit a fascinating property called diamagnetism. They repel magnetic fields entirely, pushing them out like an invisible shield when cooled below their transition temperatures. This phenomenon is responsible for the levitation of superconductors, where they seem to float in mid-air above magnets. Natural superconductors. While most superconductors require extreme cold or pressure, a few naturally occurring materials exhibit this property at relatively high temperatures. One such example is a mineral called iron sulfide, FES, found in meteorites, which becomes superconducting at around minus 213 degrees Celsius, 60 K. Quantum weirdness. The explanation for superconductivity lies in the strange world of quantum mechanics. Electrons in superconductors pair up and act as a single entity called a Cooper pair. These pairs move in perfect unison, avoiding collisions and allowing electricity to flow with no resistance. 
Superconducting Tunneling Junctions (STJs). These are incredibly sensitive devices that exploit the unique properties of superconductors. They have applications in fields like astronomy, where they are used to detect faint radio signals from distant objects in the universe. STJs are also crucial components in highly sensitive scientific instruments like SQUIDs, superconducting quantum interference devices, for measuring extremely small magnetic fields. It's important to be mindful of the distinction between verified scientific progress and unconfirmed claims. While exciting news emerges constantly, verifying it through the scientific process is crucial. Here are five recent developments related to superconductivity. Exploring Altermagnetism, October 2023. Scientists proposed a new theoretical framework called Altermagnetism that redefines how materials interact with magnetic fields. This could lead to the discovery of novel materials with unexpected properties including potentially materials exhibiting superconductivity at higher temperatures. Investigation of CES 2023, October 2023. A company called Cutting Edge Superconductors, CES, claimed the discovery of a room temperature superconductor named CES 2023. However, this claim has not yet been verified by the scientific community through independent replication and peer review. Progress with cuprate superconductors. Ongoing research continues to improve the properties of cuprate superconductors, a promising class of materials with relatively high critical temperatures the temperature at which they lose superconductivity. This includes efforts to understand the fundamental mechanisms and develop techniques to increase their critical temperature further. Exploration of unconventional superconductors. Scientists are actively searching for superconductors that operate under different mechanisms than conventional superconductors. This involves studying exotic materials like iron-based superconductors, and exploring unconventional pairing mechanisms for electrons. Utilizing topological materials. Research on topological materials, which possess unique electronic properties due to their specific band structure, has shown potential for developing novel superconductors. These materials could potentially exhibit superconductivity at higher temperatures or under unconventional conditions. It's important to understand that these are all ongoing areas of research with evolving progress. While they offer promising directions, it's crucial to stay informed about verified scientific advancements and avoid perpetuating unconfirmed claims. Superconductors hold immense potential for various applications in space and space travel, offering exciting possibilities for the future of exploration. Superconducting magnets can create powerful and efficient magnetic fields used in ion thrusters and magnetoplasma dynamic MPD thrusters. These engines offer significantly higher exhaust velocities compared to conventional chemical rockets, translating to faster missions and increased payload capacity. Magnetic confinement fusion technology, currently under development, aims to achieve miniaturized fusion reactors for spacecraft. Superconducting magnets are essential for confining the high-temperature plasma needed for this process. Large-scale solar panels in space can be equipped with superconducting coils, allowing for the transmission of high-power electricity with minimal losses back to Earth or within a spacecraft. Superconductors can store large amounts of energy efficiently, providing a reliable and compact power source for spacecraft, especially when solar energy is unavailable. Superconducting magnets can be used to create powerful and stable magnetic fields for telescopes, enabling them to detect faint signals and make high-resolution observations across various wavelengths, from radio waves to gamma rays. Superconducting magnets are crucial components of modern particle accelerators, which study the fundamental particles and forces of the universe. Smaller and more powerful accelerators could be built on spacecraft for on-site studies of cosmic phenomena. Superconducting magnets can potentially be used to capture and remove space debris orbiting Earth by exerting a magnetic force. This could help mitigate the growing problem of debris collisions and ensure safer space operations. Superconductors could be used to create powerful magnetic shields around space habitats or spacecraft, 
protecting them from harmful cosmic radiation and charged particles emanating from the sun or solar storms. While superconductors offer exciting possibilities, applying them in space presents unique challenges. These include issues like maintaining extreme cooling temperatures required for certain materials and the need for lightweight and robust designs suitable for the harsh space environment. Despite the challenges, ongoing research and development are continuously improving the capabilities of superconductors. With further advancements, we can expect them to play an increasingly significant role in shaping the future of space exploration and opening doors to new discoveries and technologies. So we inch closer to the dawn of room temperature superconductivity. But what does this mean for our future? Imagine a world where electricity flows without resistance, where power transmission is lossless, and our electrical devices function at unprecedented levels of efficiency. This is the tantalizing promise of room temperature superconductivity. It could revolutionize industries, transforming how we generate, transmit, and consume energy. But the implications go even further. Think of lightning-fast, super-efficient quantum computers, unlocking computational power beyond our wildest dreams. Imagine magnetic levitation used in transport systems, enabling ultra-high-speed frictionless travel. And let's not forget the potential leaps in medical technology with more advanced MRI machines offering clearer, more detailed imaging. Yet the impact of room temperature superconductors isn't limited to practical applications. On a more fundamental level, they could provide new insights into the enigmatic realm of quantum mechanics, perhaps even leading to a grand unified theory, the holy grail of theoretical physics. Moreover, room temperature superconductivity could propel material science into uncharted territories. Superconductors are a unique state of matter, and understanding them could help us manipulate other materials in ways we can't yet comprehend. Of course, these visions aren't without their challenges. Achieving room temperature superconductivity is a complex task, fraught with scientific and technical hurdles. We must understand these materials at an atomic level, control their properties with precision, and learn to fabricate them on a large scale. It's a tall order, but one that scientists and engineers around the world are striving to fulfill. Recent discoveries have brought us closer to this goal, yet much remains unknown. Each breakthrough needs rigorous verification, each theory rigorous testing. The path to room temperature superconductivity is as much a journey of discovery as it is a technological quest. As we stand on the precipice of a scientific revolution, the potential of room temperature superconductivity is not just a dream, but a future reality that may redefine the boundaries of our technological capabilities. The dawn of a superconductive future is an exciting horizon, beckoning us to explore, innovate, and transcend our limitations. What do you think? Is room temperature superconductivity just a sci-fi dream, or is it closer than we think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to SciSips to explore the future of science together. Hey there, SciSippers! Today's video, cracking the code of life itself. Not your daily horoscope, but the actual origin of life on Earth. Did life come from outer space? Or was it brewed right here on Earth? Scientists just discovered a missing piece of the puzzle, a molecule so essential it could be the secret source of life. But can you guess what it is? Buckle up, because we're about to dive deep into the mind-blowing world of pantothene and its potential role in sparking life on our planet. Let's get sipping on some serious science. In the cosmic theater of life's origin, pantothene, an unassuming actor, may have played a pivotal role. A recent symphony of research, led by Professor Matthew Pauner, has orchestrated a breakthrough, synthesizing this vital fragment of coenzyme A under conditions that mimic the primordial Earth. Diving headfirst into the labyrinth of technicalities, our intrepid research team harnessed the raw power of nitrile chemistry, a domain teeming with energy-charged molecules known as aminonitriles. These potent characters took center orchestrating the formation of pantothene in nothing more than water at room temperature. An astonishing groundbreaking achievement that completely shatters the age-old belief that water is a nemesis to life's fundamental compounds. Instead, it throws open the curtain on an entirely new perspective, teasing the thrilling possibility that water, in fact, 
might have been the grand stage for the spectacular birth of such vital compounds. A revelation that keeps us on the edge, begging the question, what else don't we know yet? The plot thickens as we uncover the role of hydrogen cyanide-derived molecules. These chemical actors, in a series of reactions, gave rise to pantothene, challenging the traditional theories of a sequential development of key biological compounds. Instead, the research proposes an intriguing scenario of a complex network of prebiotic reactions, one where essential molecules like pantothene, RNA, peptides and lipids emerge simultaneously, not in a linear progression. This groundbreaking research does not just illuminate the origins of life on Earth, but also opens up a new vista for understanding the potential pathways for the emergence of life beyond our blue planet. The study challenges the popular RNA world theory and hints at a more complex and intertwined molecular dance that may have given birth to life. In summary, the humble pantothene, a crucial component of coenzyme A, essential for metabolism in all living organisms, may have been one of the first on stage, facilitating the chemical reactions that led to the formation of the first living organisms. The research highlights the interconnectedness of various biological molecules, suggesting a network of RNAs, proteins, enzymes and cofactors, all emerging together at the dawn of life. If you haven't already, do check out our previous video about the primordial soup. Here's a quick recap of some of the prevailing hypotheses about the origin of life. RNA World Hypothesis this theory proposes that RNA molecules, capable of both storing information and catalyzing reactions, were the first building blocks of life. This theory proposes that RNA is relatively simple to form and can act as both genes and enzymes. Evidence suggests RNA can replicate itself under certain conditions. However, the origin of RNA itself and its transition to more complex life forms remain unclear. Panspermia theory this theory suggests life exists throughout the universe, carried by meteoroids, asteroids, comets, or even dust particles. These life-bearing particles could have seeded Earth or other planets with the building blocks of life. The theory of panspermia explains life's potential ubiquity in the universe without requiring independent origin on each planet. However, it doesn't explain the origin of life itself, only its potential transfer. Then there's the deep sea vent hypothesis. This theory proposes that life emerged near deep-sea hydrothermal vents, where mineral-rich hot water spews from the Earth's crust. Do check out our video on the Lost City Hydrothermal Fields, where we explore how deep beneath the ocean's surface, hidden in an underwater mountain range, lies a lost city of shimmering spires and exotic creatures. These conditions could have provided an energy source for chemical reactions through chemosynthesis. Minerals could have acted as catalysts for early life processes. However, evidence for the specific steps leading to life from these vents is still being explored. Then of course, there's the recent discovery of pantothene which has thrown a new twist into the story. This essential molecule is now suspected to have played a crucial role in early life, while it was previously thought too complex to form naturally. While the recent discovery of pantothene's potential involvement in life's origin is exciting, there are some limitations and areas for further exploration. While the research suggests pantothene could have formed naturally, its precise role in early life processes remains speculative. More research is needed to understand the specific reactions it might have facilitated and how it interacted with other early molecules. The origin of life likely involved a complex interplay of various molecules and conditions, not just pantothene. Focusing solely on it might neglect the importance of other crucial factors like RNA, minerals, and environmental conditions. Our understanding of the exact conditions on early Earth is constantly evolving. The recent synthesis of pantothene under specific laboratory conditions may not fully reflect the complexities of the natural environment billions of years ago. The successful synthesis of pantothene needs to be replicated under various conditions resembling early Earth to solidify its potential role as a prebiotic molecule. While exciting, the discovery of pantothene doesn't answer the fundamental question of how life arose from non-living matter. It adds a piece to the puzzle, but the bigger picture of life's origin requires further exploration. It's important to remember that science thrives on continuous re-evaluation and exploration. These limitations shouldn't diminish the significance of the pantothene discovery, but rather highlight the need for ongoing research to piece together the complex story of life's origins.
So, in the grand drama of life's origin, it seems Pantothene had a starring role. Its synthesis under early Earth-like conditions challenges previous beliefs and offers a new perspective on the prebiotic chemistry that may have occurred on our ancient planet. This intricate dance of molecules, this simultaneous emergence and interconnectedness is a testament to the incredible complexity and wonder of life's origins. So is Pantothene the missing piece of the life origin puzzle? While more research is needed, this discovery adds an exciting chapter to the story of how life arose on Earth. If you're curious to explore more mind-boggling science topics, hit that like button and subscribe to SciSips to join the science-loving community. Let's keep exploring the universe together, one sip at a time. Forget boring old screens. What if I told you the future of entertainment is right around the corner and it involves seeing, touching, and even walking around inside your favorite videos? Buckle up, Psy Sippers, because today we're diving into the world of holographic displays. We're talking 3D visuals so real you'll swear you can reach out and grab them. And the best part? This isn't some distant sci-fi dream. We're talking cutting-edge technology that's closer than you think, so hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and get ready to experience the future of entertainment. Holographic displays are a type of 3D display that uses light diffraction to create the illusion of a three-dimensional image. Unlike other 3D displays, holographic displays don't require viewers to wear special glasses or equipment to see the image in 3D and they avoid causing eye strain associated with vergence accommodation conflict. While the concept of holographic displays might conjure up images of futuristic technology straight out of science fiction, advancements in recent years have brought them closer to reality. Researchers at MIT in 2013 developed a holographic television display system that used a Microsoft Kinect camera to capture 3D objects. The captured image is then processed and displayed using a series of laser diodes, creating a viewable 3D image from all angles. Companies like Real Fiction offer holographic display solutions for marketing and advertising at events and exhibitions. This isn't a whimsical fantasy, but rather the future of display technology brought to life by Meta Surfaces. Meta Surfaces, the unsung heroes of holographic displays, are ultra-thin layers of artificial nanostructures, engineered to manipulate light in ways that ordinary surfaces cannot. They control light dispersion, the process that scatters light in an array of directions to project angle-dependent holograms. This technology is the magic key that unlocks the door to immersive virtual and augmented reality experiences. The science behind meta-surface display technology is a symphony of physics, nanotechnology, and optics. The nanostructures on the meta-surface are designed to interact with incoming light, altering its direction, intensity, and even its phase. The interaction between the nanostructures and the light waves is governed by the principles of wavefront engineering, a field of study that focuses on controlling the properties of wavefronts. The meta-surfaces are tailored to bend light waves to precise angles, creating distinctive three-dimensional holographic images that vary based on the observer's viewpoint. By manipulating the phase of light, meta-surfaces can generate an extensive viewing angle of 70 degrees, a significant leap from the limited perspectives of conventional display technology. But the magic of meta-surfaces extends beyond just creating visually stunning holographic displays. They are also paving the way for encrypted imaging and information storage, revolutionizing how we secure and store data. While the term hologram was coined in the 20th century, the fascination with creating three-dimensional illusions dates back much further. As early as the 5th century BC, Greek philosophers like Euclid described using mirrors to create illusions of three-dimensional objects. Invented in 1862, the Pepper's ghost illusion is a popular Victorian era trick, employed angled mirrors and hidden actors to create a ghostly apparition on stage. In 1947, the Hungarian-British physicist Dennis Gabor theorized the concept of holography while seeking to improve electron microscope resolution. He called it holography from the Greek words holos, whole, and gramma, message. In 1960, the invention of the laser provided the coherent light source needed for practical holography. In 1962, the first successful holograms were created by Yuri Denisyuk, Emmett Leith, and Juris Upatniks using lasers. From the 1970s, the technology has incrementally advanced with the development of different types of holograms like reflection holograms and rainbow holograms, making them viewable with white light. 
Then came advancements in laser technology and recording materials leading to the creation of full-color holograms. Holographic technology subsequently found niche applications in areas like security features, data storage, and artistic expression. These included true holographic displays which would project 3D images viewable from multiple angles without requiring special glasses, and augmented reality R -A -R, applications, which combined holographic elements with real-world environments. While widespread use of true holographic displays is still in its early stages, advancements in areas like spatial light modulators and computer-generated holography hold significant potential for the future of holographic technology. To sum up, Metasurface display technology is a game-changer in the world of holographic displays. It pushes the boundaries of what we perceive as reality by projecting holograms that change based on our viewing angle. This technology not only enhances our virtual and augmented reality experiences, but also heralds a new era of encrypted imaging and information storage. So as we stand on the precipice of this exciting new frontier, one can't help but marvel at the endless possibilities that metasurfaces hold for our future. Before we go, let's touch upon the challenges and limitations of holographic technology. Developing and producing high-quality holographic displays is still expensive and technically challenging. Creating 3D content specifically designed for holographic displays requires specialized expertise and software. Potential health concerns related to long-term exposure to laser light used in some holographic technologies need further research. This is just the beginning of the holographic revolution. Hit that like button and subscribe to SciSips so you don't miss out on the next exciting chapter. Hey, SciSippers! Ever heard of a creature with a neck longer than its body, lived underwater, and gave birth to living young ones? No way, right? Well, guess what? Buckle up, because today we're diving deep into the bizarre and fascinating world of the Dinocephalosaurus. This terrible-headed reptile wasn't just long-necked, it was the king of long necks. We're talking about a prehistoric predator with a strategy so unique it'll blow your mind. But wait, there's more. This creature's secret life challenges everything we thought we knew about its kind. Did it slither on land like a snake? Or was it a master of the underwater world? Get ready to unlock the secrets of the Dinocephalosaurus and discover a scientific discovery that'll leave you wanting more. So hit that subscribe button, Psy Sippers, and let's dive in. Welcome to the captivating world of the Dinocephalosaurus orientalis, a marine reptile that echoes the form of the mythical Chinese dragon, yet is firmly rooted in the annals of our planet's history. This unique creature hails from the Middle Triassic period, a time when life was flourishing in the oceans, and the land was dominated by early dinosaurs and the precursors to mammals. The Dinocephalosaurus orientalis, however, was a different breed altogether. A marine reptile, its stomping grounds were the ancient seas of what is now China, prowling the depths with its formidable six-meter length. Its most striking feature, and the one that sets it apart from its contemporaries, is its exceptionally long neck, adorned with 32 vertebrae. This serpentine feature, reminiscent of the Tanistropheus hydroids, wasn't merely for show. It played a crucial role in the creature's survival assisting in its fishing endeavors, as evidenced by the fish remains discovered in its stomach. But don't mistake this elongated neck as an evolutionary link to the plesiosaurs. Despite the uncanny resemblance, genetic and anatomical studies have confirmed that the Dinocephalosaurus orientalis is not related to the plesiosaurs. Another fascinating aspect of this creature is its reproductive habits. Unlike many marine reptiles of the time which laid eggs on land, the Dinocephalosaurus orientalis was viviparous, meaning it gave birth to live young in the water. This remarkable adaptation further underscores the creature's unique place in the evolutionary tree. The discovery and subsequent study of the Dinocephalosaurus orientalis, first described in 2003 and further elucidated in a 2024 publication, have shown a light on the enigmatic world of the Triassic period. It has provided invaluable insights into the biodiversity and ecological dynamics of the time, paving the way for a deeper understanding of our planet's history. To summarize, the Dinocephalosaurus orientalis, with its 6-meter length, 32 vertebrae long neck, unique fishing habits, and viviparous reproductive system, is a marvel of evolution. 
a creature that once roamed the ancient seas of China. It continues to captivate the scientific community with its blend of the mythical and the real, its defiance of categorization, and its testament to the wonder that is our natural world. The study of this creature stands as a reminder that, even in the seemingly familiar, there lie mysteries waiting to be unraveled, stories waiting to be told. As the saga of the Dinocephalosaurus Orientalis continues to unfold, who knows what other secrets will be revealed in the vast, unexplored depths of our planet's past. Welcome back, Psy Sippers. Today, we're tackling a phenomenon so mind-blowing, it'll have you questioning everything you thought you knew about liquids. Have you ever wondered why a droplet of water skates on a hot pan instead of instantly evaporating? Prepare for your minds to be blown. We'll uncover the secrets of this mind-bending phenomenon, how it works, and why it's more than just a cool kitchen trick. Let's journey back to 1756, when Johann Gottlob Leidenfrost first noted this curious occurrence. It challenges our intuition, doesn't it? The Leidenfrost effect, as we now call it, arises when a liquid encounters a surface far exceeding its boiling point, forming a protective vapor layer that keeps the liquid from immediate evaporation. It is a fascinating display of the interplay between heat, surface physics, and fluid dynamics. To understand the Leidenfrost effect, one must delve into the realms of thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. Let's start with the basics. It all comes down to the interaction between a hot surface and a liquid droplet. When the surface is heated to a temperature significantly above the liquid's boiling point, a fascinating phenomenon occurs. The bottom layer of the liquid droplet vaporizes almost instantaneously upon contact with the heated surface. This rapid vaporization creates a protective layer of vapor that insulates the rest of the droplet from the intense heat. Now, this vapor layer isn't just a simple protective shield, it's a dynamic, constantly changing entity. The heat from the surface maintains its existence, continuously vaporizing the liquid droplet to replenish the vapor that escapes into the atmosphere. This continuous cycle of vaporization and escape forms the basis of the Leidenfrost effect. But what about the droplet itself? Why doesn't it just flatten and spread out under gravity? The answer lies in the realm of fluid mechanics. The surface tension of the liquid droplet tries to minimize the surface area, leading to the formation of a near spherical shape. This surface tension, combined with the upward force exerted by the vapor layer, allows the droplet to float above the hot surface, defying gravity. Now, on to the Leidenfrost point. This is the critical temperature at which the Leidenfrost effect kicks in. It's not a fixed value, but rather depends on the properties of the liquid and the nature of the surface. For water on a smooth, flat surface, the Leidenfrost point is typically around 200 degrees Celsius. But for other liquids or surfaces, it could be significantly different. So it is the high heat, the rapid vaporization, and the surface tension that conspire to create this captivating spectacle. The Leidenfrost effect is a testament to the intricate dance of forces and phenomena in our universe. It's a reminder that even in the seemingly mundane, there exists a world of wonder and fascination, waiting to be discovered and understood. The Leidenfrost effect is not just a piece of scientific trivia. It has practical implications and intriguing applications. So let's delve into the fascinating world of applied science where the Leidenfrost effect holds a significant role. It's far more than a mere spectacle of physics. It's a phenomenon with pragmatic implications, particularly in the realm of heat transfer prevention. Consider nuclear safety. The Leidenfrost effect can play a crucial part in preventing overheating in nuclear reactors. When a coolant, typically water, comes into contact with a reactor's superheated surfaces, the Leidenfrost effect can create an insulating vapor layer. This layer can help manage the reactor's temperature, adding an extra level of safety. Then let's shift gears and think about engines. Cooling systems are vital for preventing engine overheating, and the Leidenfrost effect could offer a novel approach. By exploiting this effect, engineers might be able to design more efficient cooling systems that use less coolant while providing better heat management. Yet, the implications of the Leidenfrost effect aren't confined to heavy industry. 
It also finds a place in the culinary arts. Chefs have long observed that a droplet of water dances on a hot griddle, a direct result of the Leidenfrost effect. This phenomenon can help in maintaining the right temperature for cooking, ensuring that food doesn't stick to the pan, and even creating a unique flavor profile in seared dishes. Finally, understanding the Leidenfrost effect could lead to the development of heat-resistant materials. By studying how the vapor layer works and how it might be harnessed, scientists and engineers could design materials that resist heat damage, extending their lifespan and enhancing their performance. The Leidenfrost effect, therefore, extends beyond the spectacle and into the realm of practical, impactful science. It's more than a curious quirk of physics. It's a testament to the power of scientific understanding and a reminder of how even the seemingly small and strange can have profound implications in our world. Despite our understanding, the Leidenfrost effect still harbors mysteries that science is yet to unravel. Unresolved questions linger, like specters in the mist, challenging our comprehension of this elusive phenomenon. For instance, the precise dynamics of the vapor layer that forms under the droplet still eludes us. How does it shape and reshape itself, and what are the minute interactions that dictate its behavior? We know it's there, we see its effects, yet its intimate details remain hidden. Moreover, the factors affecting the Leidenfrost point the exact temperature at which the effect occurs, continue to perplex. While we understand its influence by the nature of the liquid, the surface material, and the ambient conditions, the intricate interplay among these variables is still a complex puzzle waiting to be solved. These questions are not mere academic curiosities. They are the frontier of our understanding, the gateways to potential breakthroughs. Scientists around the globe are relentlessly probing these mysteries, using advanced tools and techniques. From high-speed cameras capturing the dance of droplets to computational models simulating the vapor layer dynamics, the quest for answers is more intense than ever. Every discovery, every insight, brings us closer to harnessing the full potential of the Leidenfrost effect. From enhancing heat transfer systems to designing futuristic transportation technologies, the Leidenfrost effect, thus, continues to challenge and inspire scientists towards greater discoveries. Here are a couple of related effects involving fluid and thermodynamics that share similarities with the Leidenfrost effect. Film boiling. Like the Leidenfrost effect, film boiling involves a layer of vapor separating a liquid from a hot surface. However, in film boiling, this vapor layer is much thinner and more unstable, leading to faster boiling and less insulation. Film boiling is relevant in various industrial processes where heat transfer is crucial, such as boiling water in power plants or cooking food in fryers. Cavitation Both the Leidenfrost effect and cavitation involve the formation and collapse of bubbles in a liquid. However, the driving force and consequences differ. In the Leidenfrost effect, rapid vaporization creates bubbles, while in cavitation, pressure changes in a flowing liquid cause them. When these bubbles collapse near a solid surface, they can create intense localized pressure and damage. Understanding cavitation is crucial in preventing damage to pumps, propellers, and other submerged structures. Marangoni convection. In the Leidenfrost effect, the hot surface creates a temperature gradient that influences the vapor layer. In Marangoni convection, surface tension variations from temperature differences drive fluid flow within the liquid. Marangoni convection plays a role in various phenomena, including paint drying and crystal growth. In the grand pantheon of scientific phenomena, the Leidenfrost effect holds a unique and mesmerizing place. It stands as a testament to the interplay of heat and liquid, a ballet of physics that dances on the threshold of our understanding, a reminder of the oddity and wonder that the natural world holds in every droplet. This phenomenon, where a liquid in near contact with a mass significantly hotter than the liquid's boiling point produces an insulating vapor layer that keeps the liquid from boiling rapidly is more than just a spectacle. It carries practical implications, potential applications in engineering, technology and beyond, beckoning us to harness its power. Yet, the Leidenfrost effect is far from being completely understood. Its complexity presents unresolved questions, 
challenges for future research, and the promise of scientific breakthroughs. The Leidenfrost effect, a dance of heat and liquid, a testament to nature's intricate design, continues to captivate us with its mystique and promise of scientific breakthroughs. Did this video make you want to dance like a water droplet on a hot pan? If so, give it a thumbs up. And to join the Sci Sipping community for more mind-blowing science, hit that subscribe button. What other mind-bending science questions do you have? Let us know in the comments below. Think you can't be persuaded? Think again. Remember the scene in The Wolf of Wall Street where Jordan Belfort throws a pen at his new recruits and demands, Sell me this pen? Hilarious, right? But what if I told you that scene wasn't just about laughs, it was a powerful lesson in persuasion. In this video, we'll dissect the psychology behind the sell me this pen scene and explore the science of persuasion hidden within. We'll uncover the techniques used to influence our decisions and change our minds, all with the goal of making you a more informed and empowered individual. Buckle up, because we're about to decode the secrets of persuasion. Have you ever been sold on something you didn't even know you wanted? Ever felt a sudden urge to act without fully understanding why? The truth is, we're all constantly bombarded with persuasion in every aspect of life. But what secrets are hidden behind these influences? Have you ever been manipulated? I know I have. It might not always be obvious, but the power of persuasion is all around us. In this video, we'll dissect the techniques used to change our minds and influence our decisions. We'll explore the psychology behind it all and even delve into the controversial world of NLP. Are you ready to unlock the secrets? Imagine possessing the ability to sway the human mind, to shape thoughts and influence decisions. Welcome to the world of persuasion. This is a realm where words become tools and understanding becomes a weapon. Here, the intricate dance between the conscious and subconscious mind takes center stage. The power of persuasion, a seemingly mystical force, has profound effects on human behavior, and it's all grounded in the science of psychology. The human brain, our most complex organ, plays a pivotal role in this process. It's a labyrinth of neural pathways and synapses, constantly firing and rewiring, shaping our perceptions and decisions. When persuasion comes into play, it's like a master conductor leading this orchestra of neural activity. The psychological aspects of persuasion, such as reciprocity, scarcity, authority, and storytelling, are like the sheet music guiding this symphony. As we delve deeper, we begin to unravel the intricate science that underpins the art of persuasion. In the realm of persuasion, certain psychological principles act as invisible strings, subtly pulling our cognitive processes. Let's delve into these principles, the first being reciprocity. This is the compelling need to give back when something is received. A kind smile, a favor, a gift. Each of these can trigger an internal obligation to respond in kind. It's a principle deeply ingrained in us, a societal norm that has been honed by centuries of human interaction. Then we have the principle of scarcity. It's a simple yet potent rule. We tend to desire things that are rare or dwindling in availability. This scarcity triggers a fear of missing out, a powerful motivator that can push us to act, to possess that which is not easily attainable. Authority, another powerful string in the puppeteer's hand. The deference we show to those we perceive as experts, as figures of authority, can greatly influence our decisions. It's an instinctual response, a survival mechanism that has been with us since our earliest days, when following the wisdom of the experienced often meant the difference between life and death. And finally, storytelling. As a species, we are hardwired to seek out and respond to narratives. Stories engage our emotions, they allow us to empathize, to understand complex concepts in a more personal way. They are the vehicle through which we make sense of the world around us. Each of these principles has the power to evoke emotional responses that can influence our decisions and behaviors. They can make us feel indebted, anxious, respectful, or emotionally engaged. They can make us act against our better judgment, or guide us towards choices we might not have considered otherwise. These principles, these invisible strings, shape our perceptions and decisions, often without us even realizing. They are the unseen puppeteers of our psyche, 
the subtle forces that guide us through the intricate dance of social interaction and decision-making. It's a fascinating, complex, and sometimes disquieting reality, but it's the one in which we all exist. In the labyrinth of the human mind, there exists a blueprint, a code, that allows us to understand and influence behavior neuro-linguistic programming. Neuro-linguistic programming, or NLP, is both an art and science of communication, a fascinating method that unravels the intricate mechanisms of our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. This powerful tool gives us the capacity to subtly mold the perceptions and responses of the subconscious mind. When we delve into the depths of NLP, we uncover a multitude of techniques that are essentially the keys to the mind's inner workings. It is a rich tapestry of strategies, woven together by a common thread, the power of language. The words we use and how we use them, the tone, the tempo, they all play a crucial role in influencing the subconscious mind, and NLP masterfully capitalizes on this. It's a dance of words, a symphony of syntax, where each phrase, each pause, each subtle inflection can have a profound impact. It's like the conductor of an orchestra, guiding the flow of thoughts and emotions, steering them in a desired direction. Imagine a ship adrift in the vast ocean of the subconscious mind. NLP is the compass and the rudder, guiding the ship through the turbulent waves, navigating it towards the desired destination. It's not about manipulating, but about understanding. It's about empathy about stepping into someone else's shoes and seeing the world from their perspective. NLP is also about patterns. It recognizes that our thoughts, behaviors, and emotions follow certain patterns, and it seeks to understand these patterns. By doing so, it allows us to predict and influence behavior. It's like being able to read the mind's blueprint, to understand its inner workings, and to subtly guide it in a certain direction. NLP, a powerful tool in the art of persuasion, allows us to decode the complex language of the mind and subtly influence its course. Let's take an example and analyze two techniques of persuasion. First reciprocity and then framing and scarcity scenario. A parent is trying to convince their teenager to help with chores around the house. Technique, reciprocity. Start by acknowledging the teenager's perspective. I know you're busy with school and friends and chores might not seem like the most exciting thing right now. Empathy and understanding. Highlight past favors or concessions. Remember how I let you stay up late last week to watch that movie you were really looking forward to? Reminding them of a past favor. Request the desired action. I would really appreciate it if you could help out with cleaning the house today. Your contribution would make a big difference and lighten the load for everyone. Clear and polite request. Offer a future benefit. Optional. Once we're done, we could watch an episode of your favorite show together as a family. Incentive for compliance. This example demonstrates how reciprocity can be used in a positive and ethical way. By acknowledging past favors and offering an incentive, the parent attempts to build rapport and encourage the teenager to help out, fostering a sense of mutual responsibility within the family. For the next technique, let's take the same scenario same parent trying to convince their teenager to help with chores. Technique, framing and scarcity. Start with a positive and empowering statement. Hey, I need your help with some chores around the house. We've got a movie night planned for tomorrow, and I'd love for us to spend that time relaxing instead of cleaning up. Emphasize the positive outcome. Use framing to highlight the limited time. We have a few hours before the movie starts. And if we work together, we can get everything done efficiently and enjoy our free time even more. Frame the task within a limited time frame. Subtly introduce scarcity. The longer we wait to start, the less time we'll have to relax and enjoy the movie later. Imply that time is running out and the desired outcome might be compromised. Offer collaboration and positive reinforcement. Let's split up the tasks and see who can finish theirs the fastest. We can even put on some music and make it fun. Encourage teamwork and a positive association with the task. This example showcases how framing and scarcity can be used subtly to encourage action. By framing the task within a limited time frame and subtly hinting at the potential loss of leisure time, the parent encourages the teenager to see the immediate benefit of completing the chores within a specific window. Additionally, 
Offering collaboration and a positive atmosphere further increases the appeal of completing the task. Remember, this is just one example and ethical persuasion techniques should always prioritize respect, transparency and mutual benefit. Here are a few famous examples of persuasion with significant historical impact. Wartime propaganda, World War I and II, posters. Nations on all sides utilized visually striking and emotionally charged posters to demonize the enemy, promote unity, encourage war bond purchases and recruit soldiers. Examples include the iconic Uncle Sam Wants You and the British Keep Calm and Carry On posters. Radio broadcasts. Leaders like Winston Churchill delivered inspiring radio speeches designed to bolster morale and foster a sense of determination within their populace during wartime. Political persuasion. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech, a masterpiece of persuasive rhetoric, King's speech during the 1963 March on Washington powerfully articulated a vision of racial equality and justice. Its use of vivid imagery, emotional appeals and repetition served to ignite a movement and ultimately changed the course of history. Presidential Debates Historic moments in presidential debates like John F. Kennedy's poised performance against Richard Nixon or Ronald Reagan's witty retorts demonstrate how charisma, delivery, and the ability to think on one's feet can significantly sway public opinion. Campaign slogans, short, memorable slogans like Obama's Yes We Can or Trump's Make America Great Again, are designed to distill complex political agendas into easily digestible rallying cries, aiming to galvanize and mobilize supporters. With great power comes great responsibility. The science of persuasion, while powerful, necessitates an ethical compass. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of influence, we must underscore the importance of ethical considerations. Just as a scalpel can heal or harm, so too can the wielding of persuasion. The use of psychological tactics such as reciprocity, scarcity, authority and storytelling, while effective, can tread a thin line between influence and manipulation. The key distinction lies in respecting individual autonomy. Does our influence serve to guide or does it rob individuals of their ability to make informed decisions? This is a question we must perpetually ask ourselves. Neuro-linguistic programming or NLP provides a potent means of persuasion yet its power must be tempered with responsibility. We must ensure our use of NLP respects the autonomy of others and avoids manipulation. The goal should always be to enlighten, to aid in understanding, not to exploit or control. Moreover, the ethical use of persuasion must transcend our individual interactions. In a world where influence pervades public discourse and policy, our ethical considerations must extend to these larger spheres. We must strive to use persuasion not as a tool for personal gain, but as a means to foster understanding and progress. In navigating the landscape of persuasion, our moral compass must always guide us, ensuring that this potent tool serves to enlighten, not exploit. In this exploration of persuasion, we have journeyed through the realms of psychology, delved into the blueprint of the mind, and confronted the ethical implications of this potent tool. We've dissected the intriguing dynamics of reciprocity, scarcity, authority, and storytelling, and explored the intricate workings of neuro-linguistic programming, all while maintaining a keen eye on the crucial ethical considerations that accompany this power. The science of persuasion, a fascinating journey into the human mind, reveals the potent power we hold, the power to influence, to shape, and to sway. Want to dive deeper into the fascinating world of science? Subscribe to SciSips and hit that like button. Every like and subscribe helps us create even more engaging content for you. All right, SciSippers, before you go hurtling back into the real world after this epic scientific odyssey, I want to take a quick moment to chat. Building this channel, bringing you these videos, and exploring the wonders of science with all of you is a blast. But to keep the scientific adventure going strong, your help is essential. Liking this video lets YouTube know you enjoyed it, which helps the algorithm share it with more curious minds like yours. Subscribing to the channel ensures you never miss a future science bonanza and lets you know when we upload new content. But the real magic happens in the comments. Leaving a comment, whether it's a question you have, a mind-blown reaction, 
or even a suggestion for a future topic, is like rocket fuel for the channel. It helps us understand what excites you and allows us to create even better videos that cater to your scientific interests. So, smash that like button, subscribe for more, and leave a comment below, letting us know what you thought of this wild ride through science. Thanks for joining the SciSips fam, and until next time, stay curious.